I actually recorded this video earlier, but a couple of things happened, so I'm going to speak for a few minutes and then I will play, you know, the original video I intended. So, uh, our facility, Frankie's Syringe Meat, was broken into yesterday and they stole my business partner's cell phone and we didn't think of it as too big of a deal because the first day or one of the first days we were actually in that facility a couple months ago not a couple months ago uh last year in april when we started our driver's cell phone got stolen out of his truck you know it's in the bronx it's not a great area this time someone actually walked into our facility took my business partner's phone while it was charging today they smashed my business partner's windshield and car and broke into his car right outside the facility in broad daylight 1 p.m. and we're across from a police precinct like literally if you walk outside onto the street there's about 50 cop cars right outside of our facility so you know we're definitely fearing for our safety at this point you know for Frankie's syringe meat and I will do a full video on this probably Sunday or Monday uh, you know obviously we have to go down there and film and, and and talk about this on a larger scale but the reason I'm bringing that up today is because that started with these riots you know the media has purposefully started a race war and me business frankie syringe meat trying to provide you guys with high quality animal foods is being robbed by a bunch of animals and 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 we have no real way to to protect ourselves and the police precinct is right across the street so uh, if you guys want to support us paypal.me slash frank tofano paypal.me slash ffrm hopefully we don't have to shut down for a couple months because we are providing a lot of you guys with quality foods and I mean a lot you know we're selling you know thousands of pounds of meat per week and we don't want to have to shut down but we're trying to get out of this old facility and into a new facility in another part of the Bronx but I don't know if just cities in general are going to be rioting and, and we're going to be screwed um, I, I don't know what's going to happen uh, one thing I forgot to mention in, in regards to this divide and conquer stuff in the video I'm about to show you guys is that the Democrats versus the Republicans, the election, it's all fake nonsense. It's just a charade to get you to think that we're on different sides. Uh, they all have the same agenda. It's all one world government bullshit. So Democrat, Republican election, it's all fake PSYOP shit. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is that this might be used to enact martial law. So they, they did plan on martial law, but unfortunately people obeyed too well and they stayed inside. So they didn't have an excuse to enact martial law. But these riots and these people going outside and stuff and doing this stuff is going to be an excuse for them to enact martial law. Uh, so, be, so be prepared for that. Uh, but, but this is definitely an ongoing discussion. Uh, in, in the video I'm about to show you guys, I mentioned how this is all fake and planned and stuff. And that the people rioting are likely also fake too. And that the riots are likely fake. The riots are definitely fake. Um, the governor said that the people rioting were not even from the same state. So this is all planned, this is all orchestrated, and it's working, and it's getting people like me to suffer, and the average American to suffer. Uh, so I, I think this is going to get really chaotic, and I think it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And I don't know how far they're going to push this, but we're going to be in trouble. Uh, I think we're going to be in trouble. So I'll play that video for you guys now, um, and we'll have the video update on, on Frankie's syringe meat within the next few days. Ah, the psychological warfare operation continues. What the media has been doing to control us for dozens and dozens of years, what they have been using to control us for thousands of years. Psychological warfare is where you control the public with propaganda, promoting certain political ideas or choices that incentivize certain actions. This whole George Floyd black versus white thing is a complete setup. I wouldn't be surprised, and I'd actually place quite a bit of money, that the whole event was staged. Everyone involved was a paid actor. They're just trying to get blacks angry at whites, incentivize hate amongst each other. Just like they got everyone angry at the Chinese people for blaming you-know-what on China. We see this young versus old, you know, every race versus other races, men versus women, rich versus poor. They want us to be fighting amongst each other instead of knowing what's going on. They literally have an army of police protecting George Floyd's house. It's pretty obvious this was all part of the plan. You know, he does this, gets a fat paycheck and protection for the rest of his life. You know, a cop, that many years on the job, that experienced, obviously knows what he's doing in a situation like that. 
super, super obvious it was staged. This intentional race war couldn't have been any more obvious. We've had those stories against China over and over and over again these past few months. We've seen glimpses of fake news that mortality rates are higher amongst certain minorities. You know, the past several days we had that story of the woman in Central Park being racist. That blew up in the news. And if you look on any social media, here's Reddit for instance, there are so many obvious race baiting posts unrelated to this scenario. For anyone to deny that this isn't completely staged, set up, obvious control and agenda, is unfortunately part of the brainwashed sheeple, or they're part of the agenda that's actually pushing this narrative. This is a more obvious psychological operation than the reason we are locked down. It's black and white what they are trying to do to us. Divide and conquer tactics. They've been using this to control us for thousands and thousands of years. Distract us so we don't realize who we should be angry at. Distract us so we don't realize who is actually in control. You shouldn't be rioting at police stations and looting small businesses. You should be attacking government offices and getting these political demons what they deserve. A one-way trip into a ditch. You should be finding out where these news stations are broadcasting this absolute garbage bullshit that is poisoning the minds of the American people. But that's not what they're doing. They are destroying police stations. They've got us in the palm of their hands doing exactly what they want. Riots in downtown LA. But it's pretty clear they want this looting going on. Honestly, this is perfect. Is there a better way to add fuel to the fire of this lockdown? People are already having a hard time getting food, paying their bills. This is literally a free ticket for people to do what they kind of had to do. They needed food, various material goods, and chaos was inevitable. Desperate times create desperate people, and this is just going to be further used to control us. The American people fell right into the trap of what they wanted us to do. They already got us to stay locked up for what's four months now, and now that the Toyota Corolla is getting better, oh, now it's just too dangerous to go outside. There are riots. You might get mugged or robbed. Keep the fear instilled in people. Of course, there's the element of everyone wearing masks, and I bet they are hiding crime statistics that have gone up solely due to people being able to wear masks, being seen as normal. They're going to use this race war to keep us locked up until they turn on the towers for the second wave. If these riots are legitimate, wherever they are, these people can be targeted with radio wave weaponry we have disguised as cell antennas. And it's no surprise that the riots occur near these new cell towers because the new infrastructure is literally everywhere. If you're rioting in a city, there is military weaponry that can target you wherever you are in the form of LED street lamps and new cell antennas. They've installed complete surveillance systems in every city, every town, every farm across most first world countries. Someone sent me an email yesterday with cell antennas on top of the silo on an abandoned farm. They know what's going on everywhere at every point in time. If they didn't want these riots to happen, they wouldn't be happening. Remember how they broke up Occupy Wall Street with a mysterious illness? It's because that was not an intended protest. The same thing can happen here. If these riots are real, which I doubt, these people will be made very sick with targeted radiation poisoning. You know, just like these children will be the second wave if they are sent back to school, or like the American people will be the second wave because we've allowed these demented overlords to set up weapons on every street corner. I could go on and on about this, but the point is that we have to stand united with each other against the government and recognize the obvious tactics they are using to control us. My video yesterday got less views than any video I've ever made. Uh, so I don't know what I said, but uh, we might have to figure out uh, some things and uh, some alternative sources of income for myself, but uh, hopefully not. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy that I'm literally trying to save the lives of people and children and I'm getting censored and other influencers are calling me crazy, conspiracy, schizophrenic, all that type of stuff. I mean, it's really sad that most people are cowards, you know, that they go along with the mainstream agenda, that they care more about their well-being. And, you know, I, I really think coward is the perfect word here. You know, every single one of these YouTube influencers are a bunch of cowards and, um, you know, life on this planet's limited. 
but uh, that's what they chose. They chose their mediocre living on this planet as opposed to helping, you know, who knows how many other people. So uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, we'll see how things go over the next few days. And um, hopefully that was just like a, a glitch yesterday.